Are you seeing his head? Are you seeing his head? Just a short one. This is the barista Bernardo Antonio, coffee specialty barista uh, and a coffee uh, specialty artist. Uh, so today I want to show you how to calibrate uh, the Maza uh, grinder. And my colleague, a senior barista who is behind the video, the Sandita, will show you how to fine tune uh, the Lamazoko uh, PB for a very good, nice espresso in our cup. Yellow. So uh, for our uh, calibration, uh, as usual, we need to have a quarter filter. The first thing first, I need to try my quarter filter. So for us to get the, the dose, then make sure that it is zero zero. Uh, from here, I'll uh, pull our single shot uh, from the Mazda grinder. My grind size, I'm anticipating for 17 grams. That should be our dose. So it is actually a bit more, so I'm anticipating for 17 grams. So what I'll do, I'll check a little bit small uh, from the allowance of 17.3 is okay. And always make sure that uh, you turn your coffee so nicely. So from our dose, we are getting 17.5. So from our mother grinder, so we want to reduce the dosage to exactly 17 uh, grams that our dose. So what you do, you go directly to the menu, you long press the menu, then it will give some lines and start blinking then from there since we want to reduce if we press plus we are increasing if you press minus we are reducing so as we want to reduce from 17.5 to 17 grams so what we do you press uh, the small cup which means a single dose uh, once then we start now reducing by pressing the minus so we press this minus i hope you're able to see so you can see the digits are going so we'll do until as seven until 65 from there we press uh, the single dose again the cup once then we press the menu button it will blink so it means that now the dosage has been confirmed so when tamping always make sure that uh, you put a 30 pound pressure and always tamp like a pro so this one shows you a very good tamping uh, for our experience. So uh, my dose is uh, 17 uh, grams as I was able to see. So from now, so we are going to get our yield. Uh, I'm anticipating uh, for 34 ml. So what you do, put your water filter and uh, make sure you put it uh, nicely under the group head. Over here, all of the your scale as using the zero. Put your timer. This one over down here. So since it's single, uh, and there, always make sure to press the timer uh, to get a very nice timing after the drop of espresso. It means that our grind side is okay because you can see the flow of the espresso is flowing like honey. So my anticipation today for this uh, espresso, it is uh, 34 uh, ml. We are using the Brazilian, which is a uh, medium, medium roast. It has a caramel flavor, a bit of nutty, and chocolate. So, uh, this is uh, my time, 27 seconds. And from my machine, it is 31 seconds. So, we have a pre infusion of 6 minutes with a yield of 36 ml. As you can able to see, uh, actually, our yield is uh, 36 uh, ml, and this is actually not what we were anticipating for. We, were, we wanted a 34 ml. And this we are now actually my senior barista, uh, Sangita, uh, who is able to come and able to showcase how we can get the volumetrics uh, by doing the settings in our Ramazoko linear PB to get a perfect espresso. According to the video, I want to show our current pulses and the seconds that I'm having now. So here we go. Let's check it now. These are the pulses and the seconds that I'm having. So as you can see, pulses I'm having is 286 with the 8 seconds. So now we are going to decrease this one. So to do that, we will 
use the menu button. Long press menu button. So group dose setting. So after group dose setting, just spend enter again the menu button. So next program volume dose. So this one, yes. So this one G1 dose setting is the group head one dose setting that I'm going to do. Yes. G1, B1 dose pulses. The current pulses that I'm having is 272 pulses. So G1 group B1 dose means group head one button one that I'm going to do. So yes. So next I'm going to decrease the pulses up to 264. So this is the pulses I'm going to set it. So directly we can save it like this. So now I will check the volume for my espresso. That I'm expecting is 34 ml. So my uh, colleague uh, Sangita he has taken uh, you through the volumetric. So today I uh, just want to sample actually what uh, he has done and able to confirm uh, our yield. This uh, just for our sampling. So I'll press immediately once the dose has uh, dropped. Uh, it will give us uh, the time once the pressure has dropped. So this is where you are going to get our full pre infusion and the total brain time for our espresso. So we need to find the dominant flavors for our coffee uh, that uh, Sangita has uh, done during the settings of our PB uh, Lamazoko uh, linear. So it's giving us exactly uh, 34 seconds, 28 seconds after the espresso drop, and also 30 seconds uh, during our brain time. So for a good espresso, you can able to see some Tiger Max qualities of a good espresso. You can able to see the Tiger Max in our espressos. So we are going to sample this, then we get the dominant flavors. So we have uh, done our, our, our testings, espressos. So Sangita, you want to test your espresso? Yeah. So what can you feel, please? The aroma is very nice. It's looking to feel good. That's the first sip. It's very smooth. It's a Brazilian coffee. I can actually feel the the nutty flavor in it. Mm. Soft it's finish. Very nice. It's very nice. Yeah. What are you feeling? Uh, taste is a balance, not too much sour, not too much bitter. It's a balanced flavor. Medium acidity. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, from this video. Uh, we say uh, shukran jadlan. Okay, see you soon. Tell them don't forget to do that.